Hello everyone, my name is Mohamed Hasan Kayapınar. Uh, uh, this is my EE102 digital term project, uh, which is named the implementation of convolutional neural network on basis 3 VI, the VHDL uh, programmable language. Okay, uh, this project has three main module and one sub module. Uh, one of the main module is actually the CAM module uh, without FIFO, and the second one is the jumper, which enable the communication between the CAM module and the basis 3 board and the third one is our main board basis 3 and our sub module is the VGA which actually show us what is really going on in terms of the images in, in terms of in terms of the frames in terms of the videos uh, inside the base 3 environment okay so the CAM module actually start from the reading RGB data directly uh, and send the, this RGB 12 bit data inside the base 3 board via the help of the jumper. But the problem is the data is not actually come through the 12 bit RGB. So I make the pre process, I actually capture the data from it as an 8 bit data and then convert it to 12 bit without losing the significant feature in the uh, frames. Okay. So then I send the frames, I send the captured frames inside the base 3 memory, uh, which is block RAM. And then I am taking the, that data from the block RAM and convert it to the grayscale. And uh, why I should do that? Actually, the problem about the base 3 is, okay, everything goes through the parallel computing structure. But what I try to implement is convolutional neural network, which actually really require times there is a certain amount of delay due to the implementation of convolution operation the reason behind that i have to take the picture and then i implement the kernel which i uh, created which are specified with cells and it's made from the pre-trained neural network from the outside environment and then implement this kernel on the image then uh, after doing that, I have to multiply the matrix values, corresponding values, and add them together, which is really complicated and taking time process. Even if there's a parallel computing, there's a certain amount of time. And after doing that, I applied the pooling layer, and then I applied the uh, fully connected layer, dense layer. But even if in pooling layer, just choosing the significant feature of the, our images, not changing the dimensionality, I have to apply it in a horizontal direction and vertical direction, which is really take also time and create significant amount of delay. And then I apply a fully connected dense layer. I set up it and uh, by actually with respect to weights and their number, I specified at which point it should give our predictions. And after it's giving our prediction, by taking the grayscale image, uh, it actually directly sent to the seven segment display. Let's make a quick demonstration about that. Sorry, the number will be show up in a opposite direction. As we can see, the number is four. The display sent to show four, but let's sorry, let's get ready the ready to second image, which is nine. And whenever I took that, it's not getting the nine. By the way, what I try to implement in here with convolutional neural network is just the uh, uh, number recognition system, not the more than it. The reason behind why I choose it is really easy to implement, easy to train, and it's not require too much computational power. Even if I make the 200 EPO uh, to train into this neural network, just take the five or 10 minutes in my computer, but in here, just taking one test case takes five minutes. So uh, I realized that it takes five minutes and I cannot publish it because our videos should not exceed the five minutes. So I add this when it's convert four to nine uh, at the end of the video and I just uh, give them, uh, I increase the speed of the video at that point. And also uh, I would apply this same uh, number recognition system, just applying a fully connected layer. It would work, but that's not the objective of the, my project. My project is the general statement of convolution neural networks and their implementation in the hardware structure. Uh, 
So uh, due to the significant amount of the delay of the operation of convolutions, pulling layer and dense layer, uh, the network works really late, but it works eventually. And uh, I hopefully, uh, with the making further investigation of this project, it really would make work better and faster by changing the just base three board. Uh, that's my project. Thanks for listening.